This brings up a, a potentially a topic uh, that I think is of interest um, for coming up with the idea of um, are bone marrow stromal cells really rare, um, or is this sort of multipotent progenitor really rare? And um, the reason why I sort of bring this up is because certainly from the fate mapping studies, you can label lots of stromal cells, and you see a lot of them. You know, and so um, the the questions that you have are 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 they all really multipotent, which we really don't know the answer to. Um, and um, <coughs> excuse me. And um, are they really rare? Um, so I, I think classically we have always thought of this population as rare, but a lot of the sort of um, certain pieces of literature have come out that really suggest not only just the fate mapping but different types of strategies to isolate um, that really suggest that maybe. Um, they're not so rare. Maybe we're just not isolating them in the same fashion, in the right way, or the most effective way. So for example, um, this is a very interesting paper by Paul Simmons's group, where he does what's called um, a bone marrow plug. So he uses uh, a very small volume of fluid to sort of push out the marrow. Um, and then he carries out a series of enzymatic dye dress. And when he does this, and, and the concept behind this is that stromal cells are tightly adherent to basically the bone marrow vasculature. And so the idea behind this is that if you actually carry out an enzymatic digest to try to remove the stromal cells from the actual vasculature, then you'll be able to release more stromal cells. And he shows in this paper how very effective, um, and in fact, the number of CFUs increased by two orders of magnitude, um, essentially using this kind of approach. Okay, there's another work from Paul Simmons' group that was actually done earlier, um, using a different methodology to isolate cells from compact bone. Now, this is more, maybe not necessarily stromal cells um, uh, exclusively, uh, but could be cells also on the bone surface as well and uh, and so they literally use a mortar and pestle type of approach to sort of break up the bone and uh, and then followed by digestion so the other end of this is to say well we flush the bone marrow um, but notice that maybe not all the stromal cells are adherent maybe there are stromal cells that um, that um, aren't adherent um, and certainly this paper uh, makes a case for that where they actually take the uh, cell fraction that doesn't adhere and then they actually go ahead and then they put it on major gel and they're able to find uh, multipotent stromal populations there as well. So I think these are all potentially pieces of evidence that the number of mesenchymal stromal cells may not be as rare as once thought. To view the full video of this and all of our other webinars for bioscientists at the bench, please visit bitesizebio.com slash webinars.